An infinite geometric series is the sum of an infinite number of terms of a geometric series. There are two types of infinite geometric series, convergent series and divergent series. We'll look at some examples of each of these. Let's look at this geometric series 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8, etc. We see that the first term a1 is equal to 1, and the common ratio r is term a2 divided by term a1, or 2 over 1, which is equal to 2. Here's a graph of the first seven terms of this series. We see that the slope increases as the term number increases. We can draw an arrow projecting how this curve will go as we increase the term number. The value of the terms will keep getting higher and higher, and the slope will keep on increasing. This is called the divergent geometric series. In this series, r equals 2. In a divergent series like this, the sum of the terms will get infinitely large if the terms go on forever. Any geometric series for which r is greater than 1 will be divergent and the sum will get infinitely large. It can also be shown that any geometric series for which r is less than negative 1 will also be divergent and for these, the sum will get infinitely small. Now we'll consider a geometric series for which r is less than 1. We can see that term a1 equals 48, and r equals a2 over a1, or 24 over 48, which is 1 half, or 0.5. Notice the terms keep getting smaller and smaller. Here's a graph of the first seven terms of this series. We'll add an arrow to the curve to project how this series will behave as we keep on adding terms. We see that the value of the terms keep on decreasing as we add terms and approach is zero. This is called a convergent series. In this series, r equals 0.5. In calculating the sum of a convergent series like this, the amount that we add for the value of each term will keep getting smaller and smaller. So we can say that in a convergent geometric series, the sum of the terms will be limited as the terms increase. It can be shown that any geometric series for which r is between negative 1 and positive 1, where r is not equal to negative 1, not equal to positive 1, and not equal to 0, will be convergent. Now if r was equal to negative 1 and the first term was 1, we would start with 1 and the second term would be 1 times negative 1, which is negative 1. The third term would be negative 1 times negative 1, which is positive 1. The fourth term would be 1 times negative 1, which is negative 1, and so on. This is not a geometric series, it is just alternating positive ones and negative ones. So in a geometric series, r cannot be equal to negative 1. Now if r was equal to 1 and the first term is 1, this series would be 1 plus 1 plus 1, etc. Again, this is not a geometric series. So in a geometric series, r cannot be equal to 1. If r was equal to 0 and the first term was 1, the series would be 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0, etc. And again, this is not a geometric series. It is just 1 followed by terms that are all zeros. None of these are geometric series. So for a geometric series, we can state that r cannot be equal to negative 1, 1, or 0. We can summarize divergent and convergent geometric series in terms of their r value with this diagram. You should memorize this diagram. If we're given a geometric series and asked whether it's divergent or convergent, we simply need to determine the value of r and see which range it is in on the diagram. For example, we're given this series and asked if it's divergent or convergent. To answer this, we'll calculate the value of the common ratio r, which is a2 over a1, or negative 20 over 40 which is negative 0.5. Now we know that r equals negative 0.5, we can see which range it fits into in our diagram. 
negative 0.5 is between negative 1 and 0, which is in the convergent range. So we can state that this series is convergent. Here's a graph showing the first eight terms of this series. We see that the magnitude of the curve is getting smaller and smaller as terms are added. So this shows us visually that this is a convergent geometric series. Let's do another example. We're asked if this geometric series is divergent or convergent. We'll calculate r, which is a2 over a1, or 6 over negative 2, which is negative 3. Now we know that r equals negative 3, we can see where it fits in in our diagram. Negative 3 is less than negative 1. And this is one of the divergent ranges. So we can state that this series is divergent. So in summary, when given terms in a geometric series, determine the value of r and see which range it fits into on this diagram. This way you can determine whether the series is divergent or convergent.